Hello everybody, this is Cecil Harwell, and today we're going to examine the gesture. Uh, so this is just going to be about quickly capturing the dynamic of a thing. And so today we're going to use pets because they move. So there's one. We're just going to do another. There she is, she's coming up on the coffee table. And so, you just want to make it quick. You're not even, you're going to look at it and go, well, that's not a cat. Well, fine. All we're really doing is capturing the emotion, the spirit. So, do it quickly. But don't let your pencil or pen or whatever you're using off the page. Okay? Just keep going. We're not trying to capture an outline. We're just going into the frame. Close your layer. Here we go. Alright. So... It's just about an energy, so to speak. Now, you want to really get practice with these so that you get used to just capturing something that you can build on later. In the second half of this video, we're going to look at the blind contour because the two go together. Let me turn my <clears throat> canvas. You can sustain a gesture, you know, with a little more detail. But what I really mean is just a second line of information. So, all right. Okay, that should be, there we go. It's a good thing that they're moving because you want these gestures to be fast. And you don't want a lot of information either. You just want to capture like a core. So I'm going to keep going. Let them move. Whenever they move, uh, like fundamentally, then go ahead and start over. You just want this to be one or two seconds uh, in drawing class to warm up what we do is do 5 second drawings and then 10 second drawings and then 30 second drawings and it seems like uh, outrageous you're like how can you possibly get anything that remotely you know resembles what you're drawing well don't worry about that well, we're going to run out of layers here in a second Okay. So you just want to practice your hand. Get used to creating a lot of line width variation. You want a dynamic line. Okay. So, oops.
and we just do the process over again. Except this time, let's get it to a spot. Okay, now we have it to a spot. Right, so here's her back, right? Here's her tail, or the, you know, t her tail end. And there's her thigh, upper thigh of her back leg, and then here's the elbow of the foreleg. Okay, so let me go back some. Okay, so a blind contour on top of this, this is how we work in tandem. Okay, so I'm not looking at the page, and I'm just drawing around my gesture. Okay, so a little off, but so what? We can go back and correct. Let's do another blind contour. Okay, so again, it didn't line up quite the way we want, so let's do another. Okay, so now we're starting to get something that we can work with. She's going to be constantly moving her head, looking around. And again, that's good. That's a, it's a life drawing. That's what we want. We want movement. And these kind of lines right here, where you saw where I back up here where I stopped the line and then went back over it well, that's not really what you want to do you want you want it to be a constant smooth line because it improves legibility so it really is best to stick with these kind of Blind contours of your areas. I'm not saying you can't go back and reinforce a line or a, a particular angle that you like in order to bring it out. It's just better whenever you can get get them smooth. Right, so let's take a second and paint over what we don't like, or what's no longer necessary, I guess. So you can see how this then becomes the foundation for further development. Now. In these first few lessons, we may not get this far, as far as, like, if you're doing practice work or whatever. I mean, obviously, like, this isn't a legitimate, well, it's not a, an accredited class, I'll say that. I hope that I've demonstrated the legitimacy of my, of my work, at least. So, this is what we have. This is about as developed as we want our drawings at first, um, so that we can really get a sense of what's going on, right? So let's go back to another gesture. My brother has two cats, Panther and Baby, and they used to sleep together. Let's change colors just for uh, the sake of diversity. All right, so here's another gesture. Um, and I like it, so I'm going to leave it. And then the other cat is right here, right? So that's, it can be that simple. And then to sustain, you know, let's do another gesture on top of our first one. And now we get a deeper sense of what's going on. Okay, and then... brother would actually love a photo of this because they rarely they stopped they stopped getting along a couple of years ago so now they chase and pester each other so 
so there are our sustained gestures, right? And it's a, there, I want them, I want them to be able to fit on the page. So this isn't something normally you'd want to do. Well, I'm trying to resize them. Oh, well, that's fine. Now she's got her ears back and she's facing away from me. Because she knows I'm talking about her. But these gestures and blind contours are how you define, or I prefer the word describe, actually, for art. Science is concerned with definitions, but art is focused more on description. Okay, so you can see how our blind contour can go over the surface. We can go back and forth with it, too. So this is really more what's going on. The issue that you'll find if you keep looking at your page whenever you're blind contouring is that you'll get a lot of these chicken scratch kind of lines because all of a sudden you become unsure of yourself. So it's best... Here, let's get rid of this whole line right here. All right? And just see how it goes when... We're not looking at the page. Okay, so we'll start down here. We'll go around like that. Great. See, that's much more descriptive of what we want. It's actually defining and or describing the information. Okay, she's moved again. So, again, we're not getting too attached to any one drawing. We're focusing on the drawing process. So here she is in all her statuesque glory. Okay, so now let's start in with a blind contour. Now she's like licking her paw. Standing upright like that is kind of neat. And now she's moved again. Now she's licking her other paw. So, this is what we have in the gesture. Alright. So now let's put in a blind contour. And go back with another gesture. Again, the gesture is just capturing the spirit or the flow. The blind contour is capturing edges, so we can go internal with our contours, right? And now she's moving again, so we'll start over yet again. So there we have it. This, this is as simple as you want your gesture. If you get 50 good drawings like this in a week, then you're doing good. Then you're actually practicing. And that's what's important. You know, they always say practice makes perfect. I would have never believed it whenever I was in school, but it's just like playing the violin. If you don't practice every day, then you will lose it. It is true. So, see how we just went all over the surface there? And she's moved again. So, instead of starting another drawing, since we do like this one, or I like it anyway, maybe you don't, just go ahead and redraw her head in her new position.
So to sustain this, we're just going to go back and forth between gestures and contours. And she's moved again. So let's start another one. And she's moved again. It can seem frustrating, you know, because animals do move <laughs> by the by nature of their very name. And we're also going to clean up this canvas. So there we go. It's better to draw with your hand, your wrist, and your arm than it is to draw with your fingers. And that's because you have a lot more kind of radial control. I like that. It'll help too to think of it as a process instead of as finished work, then enjoy the process, because that's where you actually learn. Now, see, remember when I was talking in the other lesson about going into too much detail too quickly? This eye right here, it's too much detail too quickly. There we go. These early construction lines, don't worry about them. You're going to go over them later in a painting or drawing. And these construction lines actually add to the activity of the drawing. So since what we're looking for is a life drawing, a drawing of, of living, living material. Now she's back in her ears. So that means this drawing is finished. One of the things that my... Uh, figure drawing teacher said is if you're not looking at the model you're making it up and if we're focused on representational drawing well then if you're making it up then you're destroying your image and we don't want to do that okay and now she's moved again so you know, we're just going for line quality here. We, we want to keep it loose and flowing. Like, see how these... Here, let's just change to a pencil. And red. So I can point out some things here. Like, these lines here, the way these flow right through the drawing, they give you a real sense of where the weight is, how the animal's looking, it's, in a, it's an implied uh, line, right? So, I personally consider this drawing a success. Let's go back and look at the others. So, Get all these out. Oh, wait, I need that one. Okay. So let's look at these others. Ah, see, that was real quick. That happened. So, again, these kind of lines. Close. These kind of lines here are really giving it weight and direction. And that's all we're going for in these initial stages. Uh, I, can't, I can't stress it enough that we're not trying 
to get a cat with eyes and a tail and you know stripes and all of that stuff we're just capturing energy there we go all right so here here these kind of lines give it its character as it grows right so these are the lines that show motion that it's that it's poised that it's carrying its weight these are the lines that we like or that we're going for I like them so this kind of stuff here right it pushes and then it centers right and then it flows downward so let's see here oops here's another one see here you can see her kind of oops moving like this she's holding her arm up here All right so there's there's something going on here even these real kind of simple ones like here they both are right so again you can see breast Dang, I keep doing that sorry breast right neck muzzle shoulder, back, and here you can see this, you know, this is more pronounced. But again, you can see the weight and how it's laying out. And that's all we really want. It's good to go back over these drawings like this. See what you like and what you don't like. Where you could be, you know, not as heavy-handed or whatever. Like here, I actually erased, right? Dang it, sorry. Um, like this was all erased. Here, I erased. But nonetheless, there's still this, you know, energy and flow. So, one thing you'll want to do is not feel one bit bad about uh, here we're going to discard that sketch oh my god I just did it so now that is gone so instead of being proud of your work or whatever I mean not that you can't be proud of it but be proud of the fact that you did it and nobody else gets to see it then you're kind of building a relationship with yourself and this ability to kind of see the inner workings of things. That's what we're doing with these gestures. Inner essence, so to speak. Um, all right, let's go outside and draw some puppies. I'll actually start with the mama dog. Hey mama, hey mama. You gonna sit for me? You gonna sit for me so I can draw you? Okay, so she likes to move around a lot. She's very active right now. She's been, she just got the dog's wing. And here comes Jesse. Okay, so now we have two dogs, which is great. Come on, y'all, sit still for me. Sit still, right? I like that's gonna happen. So because it's not gonna happen, that's actually a good thing. It's a challenge, right? So again, just capturing energy. This is all we want from this drawing. So let's go ahead and give it another go. Oh, she moves quick, which is only going to give you practice. So let you let these move with your with your animals. They now that I'm out here. They get excited when they come outside. Mm -hmm. Come here, Jessie. Yeah, see, she's gone. So that's all we got. Well, are any of these even recognizable as dogs? Well, we don't need them to be, because this is just practice exercise. I can't say it enough. So now let's, now that they're gone, they've, got, they've gotten their excitement, so they're no longer interested. Um, let's just look at our 
line quality, right? So this thick, dang it, I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? This thick to thin is good because it you can see how it wireframes, right? All right, lighter lines recede and darker lines come forward. So then it creates this depth this way, right? Uh, so then this seems to be the front shoulder and this seems to be the back. And that's what we want. So again here, back, shoulder, head. Oops, let's see here. There we go. And again, shoulder, then she moved, and so there's her uh, neck, back, then this becomes her shoulder, head. And again, so she was getting ready to get up and move, so here's her back, her shoulder, her neck. So, because they move a lot here, now she's out there laying down. Just get the contour. Let go of the gesture for a little bit and see what comes out of a contour. Okay. Blah. Uh, but this, I would consider this a success just because where I started, right, and I was able to come around all the way around and complete, right, it was my line wasn't way out here, my starting point here and my ending point here. Uh, so success. So here we go again. Just blind contour. No gesture. I'm not looking at my page. Just want to catch the contour. And again, let's just do it again. You can kind of go into the form a little bit. Like right now, I'm going to get her head now in this. Okay, so get better at these as you go, right? And as you warm up, it's a daily thing, so... Let's see if we can get some of the puppies. They move a lot, so... Bruh. Puppies, puppies. They're probably hungry. It's probably time to feed them. So let me do that. Oh, there's another cute puppy. But you want to see, as, as you get better at this, you'll see that they come out, you know, really nicely. Okay, so let's start here. So these are silhouettes. Just try to connect all the way around. That's what we're going for. You just want to make it all the way around the object. Don't worry about proportion right now. And then these are our gestures. So in the next uh, lesson, we will work more on sustaining gestures cross contours and connect using cross contours to connect blind contours to our gestures so that will be it for now uh, again if you want to do practice work or if you want to post practice work just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to talk you through it if you have any questions or uh, anything like that please feel free to subscribe and post in the comments uh, I have that uh, YouTube editor or whatever so it notifies me whenever y'all put post comments and I will happily respond as soon as I get a chance within the day that's for sure again thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and have a great day